Hi there, this is the Electronics Lab and you are watching 60 Second Circuits, where I try to explain a circuit in 60 seconds or less, but probably more. In this episode, I will explain Ohm's Law, one of the foundational laws of electrical circuit analysis. So let's put 60 seconds on the clock, enter a zen-like state, and become one with the universe. Oh. Ohm's Law describes the relationship between voltage applied to a circuit or element in a circuit, the resistance of the circuit or element, and the resulting current in that circuit. This relationship is linear and states that the current in a circuit is directly proportional to the voltage applied, and this constant of proportionality is called the resistance. In other words, when the voltage across resistance is increased by a certain proportion, current will increase by the same proportion. More specifically, the ratio of voltage over current is resistance. Where voltage is in volts, current is in amps, and the resistance is in units of ohms. These equations show all the versions of the mathematical relationship between voltage, current, and resistance described by Ohm's law. This example shows the linear relationship between voltage and current in table and graphical form. The table and graph show different values of voltage across and current through a 10 ohm resistor. And as you can see, as the voltage increases, so does the current, and it does so in a linear way. At every step of the way, except when V equals zero, the voltage divided by the current is 10 ohms. The slope of the curve generated also indicates the resistance. The slope of the line is the inverse of resistance, which is called conductance. And so the inverse of the slope of the line generated is the resistance. One way to think of the relationship between voltage, current, and resistance is to use a water analogy, where voltage is analogous to water pressure, resistance is analogous to flow restrictors in a pipe, and current is analogous to water flow. For a given flow restrictor, more water pressure results in more water flow. And for a given water pressure, less restriction results in more water flow. Similarly, for a given resistance, more voltage results in more current, and for a given voltage, less resistance results in more current. I should note that Ohm's law is not universal. Not all devices or materials have a linear relationship between voltage and current. Semiconductor devices do not, and diodes are the best example of this. Current through a diode increases exponentially with voltage across the diode. Also, when a high enough voltage is applied to an insulator, the insulator can break down and turn into a good conductor. The best and most dramatic example of this is lightning. Despite not being universal, Ohm's law is still a foundational law in electrical circuits because so many materials are resistive, i.e. they have a linear relationship between voltage and current, and the resistor is one of the most commonly used components in electrical and electronic circuits. Thanks for listening to the 60 second, 90 second description of the basics of Ohm's law. If you want to see more 60 second circuits or you want to see longer explanations of circuits, please see my channel and subscribe. I appreciate you tuning in and hope you now know a bit more about Ohm's Law. See you soon.